Hey, Blitzy, we gotta go tell the fellas about my next three videos. Yeah, we gotta go in the shop. We gotta show the fellas something. <laughs> hey, got guys. Okay, guys. So I wanted to mention my next three videos, okay? One of them's being is rendering right now. That video is called Punch the Clouds. I'd always wanted to take my drone up into the clouds and ideally above the clouds. And it's harder, uh, easier said than done <laughs> with a drone that can only go a half mile high. <laughs> but I got my wish. Another video is going to be on this guy on my 30 meter QRP transceiver. It's based on a Small Wonder Labs SW40 Plus board. And that video will be all about the things I've done to try to stabilize the damn thing. <laughs> it was a pretty wild beast when it was stock. I've made many changes to that stock board but um, I wanted to talk about what I've done in the interest of stability, stabilizing the local oscillator. And finally, another video, the third one will be on this Helicrafters S120 shortwave receiver. I couldn't take it any longer, man. I had to take it out of the case. I had to use my tube checker. My Heath Kit tube checker. <laughs> and oh man, that's the first time I've used a tube tester since I was a teenager at Rickman's Drugstore in Flint, next to my house where I grew up. <laughs> they had a tube tester. It was glorious. I tested millions of tubes there. <laughs> um and in that in that Helicrafters video, I'll show you a typical response from the amp meter when you're powering up an ancient receiver <laughs> or other device. Okay, I hope you're well. So those are the next three videos. I don't know what order they'll be in. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Take it easy, guys. Bye now.